10 Amazing Infrastructure Projects That Are Changing Africa Infrastructural development across Africa is on the rise. The building of bridges, airports, hospital, and much more has seen a rise in Africa in the last decade. Africa is the world's second largest and second most populous continent, both after Asia. It covers approximately 30.3 million kilometers square, including adjacent islands, accounting for 6% of the Earth's total surface area and 20% of its land area. With 1.4 billion people as of 2021, it accounts for roughly 18% of the global human population. Despite the devastating effects of a global pandemic, many mega construction projects are underway in Africa. Do you wish to know which the infrastructural projects that are transforming Africa are? Do you also want to know in which countries these projects are found? Then watch till the end to discover for yourself. Some are government funded, while others are funded by the private sector. These initiatives also include long-term and short-term transportation, healthcare, and urban development plans. The African construction industry is thriving. Do you have any reservations? Then, discover these 10 incredible construction projects that are changing Africa. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel as we ride along, and also comment on which project is the best. 10. Soil Thermal Power Station Phase 2, Angola Soyo I Thermal Power Station is a 750-megawatt natural gas-fired thermal power plant currently under construction in Soyo, Angola's Sayur province. The upgrade of the Soyo power plant is critical to the Angola Energy 2025 vision. Since its completion in 2017, the original power plant has produced approximately 750-megawatt. With two 360-megawatt units, it barely meets the country's needs, but the planned upgrade includes two additional units. As a result, it may be able to meet the majority of Angola's electricity needs by 2024. By then, all units will be running on locally sourced liquefied natural gas rather than diesel. 9. Kigali Central Sewerage, Rwanda Kigali is experiencing alarming levels of pollution in both the soil and the Nyabugogo River as a result of the one million strong population's reliance on septic tanks and latrines for sanitation. The goal of constructing Rwanda's first sewerage system is to address an urgent public health issue. The plan also has a positive environmental impact because it includes the construction of a wastewater treatment plant. In 2017, Rwanda received loans from the African Development Bank, a FDB, and the European Investment Bank, EIB. The project was supposed to begin in 2019 and be completed by 2022. The city of Kigali and the Water and Sanitation Corporation W, a SSC, on the other hand, are still looking for a contractor. Furthermore, some informal settlements are impeding progress. The city of Kigali and the Water and Sanitation Corporation WSSC, on the other hand, are still looking for a contractor. Furthermore, some informal settlements are impeding progress, which presents an excellent opportunity for upgrading. 8. Stade Olympique Doran, Algeria Oran Olympic Stadium is a multi-purpose stadium in Belgad, a suburb of Oran, Algeria. It was completed in 2019 and is mostly used for football matches. It will be able to hold 40,143 people. The stadium is part of the Olympic complex Mylod Hadefi. In the Stadium DB.com Stadium of the Year 2021 poll, Stade Olympique Doran was ranked 18th. It is a sports construction marvel among the world's 23 stadiums. The stadium's location was the most difficult because engineers had to build it on a slope. It's no surprise that it was delayed several times between 2010 and 2021. The steel structure that surrounds this Olympic sports complex is the first thing that catches the eye. It has a capacity of over 40,000 spectators. 
It is also connected to an athletics sports hall and three swimming pools. 7. West Africa Cable System, WSCS The WSCS is essentially a 14,500 km long fiber optic submarine cable that connects South Africa, West Africa, and Europe. With 15 terminal stations, the heavy-duty cable passes through 13 countries, including Namibia, Angola, and Ghana. This transcontinent submarine cable is operated by 18 reputable telecommunications companies, including Cape Verde Telecom, Telcom South Africa, and Vodafone. It is most likely currently serving millions of users. The WSCS is made up of four fiber pairs. It was originally designed with 128 wavelengths per fiber pair, operating at 10 gigabytes per second per wavelength and a capacity of 5.12 terabytes per second. WSCS's initial investment is approximately $650 million. Huawei Marine completed a WSCS upgrade one, upgrade using 100 gigabytes per second technology in May 2015 increasing the WSCS system design capacity to 14.5 terabit second. The WSCS upgrade crew was completed in February 2019 with Huawei Marine Solutions to support 30 to 100 gigabytes per second from South Africa to Portugal. 6. Bolgatanga East District Hospital, Ghana the construction of the Bolgatanga East District Hospital is part of the government's Agenda 111 to serve undeserved districts with the help of private investors. When completed, the hospital will serve as a springboard for providing distinctive healthcare to all Ghanaians. Furthermore, seven other hospitals are under construction as the government commits to providing more healthcare services in areas where there are no hospitals. The construction is still going on, but we don't know when it will be finished. 5. Kano Kajina Rail Project, Nigeria The Kano Kajina Railways project aims to bridge the 203.8 km gap between Kano and Kajina states. It also forms part of the larger Nigerian Railway Modernization Project which also includes the Lycos Kano and Lycos Calabar railways. Unfortunately, the Chinese contractor CCECC Nigeria Limited appears to be meddling in Nigerian politics, which irritates the federal government. Once completed, the railways will connect Nigeria's northern and southern regions. It will boost the economy by making passenger and cargo transportation safer and more efficient. The project is scheduled to be completed in 2023. 4. Tatu City, Kenya Rendever developed Tatu, a 5,000-acre special economic zone. Tatu City is also a member of the World Free Zones Organization. It provides affordable housing options for Kenyans in the middle class. Construction is currently expanding to Phase 3 to add more housing units. The current population is 150,000 people, and it is expected to grow as new developments take place. There are also universities, businesses, and shopping malls in the city. In a nutshell, it's one of Kenya's and Africa's fastest-growing smart cities. 3. Mesob Tower, Ethiopia The Mesob Tower project will showcase Ethiopian culture to the rest of the world. It aims to boost the country's already thriving hospitality and tourism sectors. The Mesub Tower, standing 250 meters tall and occupying 20,000 square meters of land in the heart of Addis Abeba, will be a sight to behold. Along with hotels, shopping malls, and other amenities, the tower will house a cultural center representing various Ethiopian traditions. It will be open to the public by 2027. 2. Madiba Vaccine Production Plant, Senegal The Institute Pasteur de Dakar hopes to provide 300 million COVID doses made in Africa in collaboration with biotech. 
Senegal will be one of six African countries chosen by the World Health Organization to produce mRNA vaccines locally as a result of the EU-backed initiative. Team Europe committed nearly your 425 million to the construction of the Madiba facility, which will serve as an extension of the Institut Pasteur de Dakar. 1. New Capital City, Egypt Egypt is constructing a new capital, which is a massive African construction project. With 21 residential districts available, the smart city will attract approximately 7 million citizens. With 25 commercial districts, it will also attract businesses. Most government agencies and other administrative organizations will relocate to the new capital, reducing traffic congestion in the old capital. Egypt is considered the capital of Africa by some as the oldest civilization. Egypt's capital will be an economic hub not only in Africa, but also in the Middle East. These are just a few of the amazing projects that are transforming the continent of Africa. There are several others that we have not mentioned, so if there is any project that you know of that we have not mentioned, please mention it in the comment section. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to Africa Reloaded, and turn on the notification icon to get updates of our new videos.